want to congratulate you on your show and let you know that you're doing a hell of a service for all of us. Man, you tell all them people out there, you tell everybody how it is, and it is just out of hand. I have a three-year-old son. Every time he's in the car, he listens to you, and we're going to bring him up the Tom way. You know, you're very funny. I like you because, you know, you, 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 I like you. Why do you have a girlfriend? Well, I don't well, know how it is. So I might how is it? Uh, so Let me know how it is. Yeah. How is it? Yeah. It is just out of hand. God bless you, Tom. Do you miss having a newspaper? Not. The only thing that it was good for is putting in the bottom of my snake tank. I'm here in front of a taco stand right now. I'm going to eat some tacos right now, Tom. I'm going to eat a couple for you. Thank you. I, you know what? I'm on the air. I would love to be there with you having some. Tell you what. Con todo, por favor. Tell me what kind you would eat, man, and I'll eat a Oh, carne asada, baby. Carne asada. Hot as it, as hot as it comes. Y me da este otro dos de carne asada, con todo. For all the boys out there listening, freeing up, freeing up, freeing up. Can't say it enough. Or don't get married. Or don't get married, but if you do. <laughs> so, it's outrageous. <laughs> How many people watching the NBA playoffs are actually going to watch Lipstick Jungle? We're desperate housewives. Just because somebody likes watching Tony Parker doesn't mean they like watching Eva Longoria, okay? But, you know, it becomes really apparent that every show on ABC is a vagina fest. I mean, ABC is the vagina network. <laughs> ABC, you know what that stands for? It's not always be closing. It's always be something else. When they do Pro Bowl saying, see you next Tuesday, you pretty much know where they're coming from. What do you pay in cable a month, like at your sweet places? Oh, you don't want to know what I pay because uh, I have satellite. I have uh, direct TV. Right. But there is a secret society of direct TV where you can pay one price. Oh, okay. And it is now up to in the five digits. You pay $10,000 a year. Jesus. And you get every channel there is. They, there's like 850 channels I found out. Dude, Tom, I'm at my house and I'm reading books. I'm like looking at bugs in the, in the lawn. Oh, my God. What did you do? Get a library card now to oh, save I money? I hit the library. I'm with, I'm with all the homeless people at the library every week now. <laughs> Dude, I rent DVDs from the library now. That's what you're is doing to me. What do you look like? Uh, you know I couldn't listen to your show for this many years if I wasn't a hot bitch, right? That's absolutely, you know what, that's absolutely true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving this U-Haul right now in a bikini top. Let's just put it that way. Really? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, well, well. It's a heat wave, you know. I can serve by not wearing as much clothes as well. I might have to do a credit check. <laughs> I need to get a good look at your credit report. <laughs> Okay, we can do that. We can Absolutely. Read. I want to see what your FICO score is. Yes. I'm going to scrutinize your credit very closely. You can scrutinize my credit all you want. <laughs> You're just an absurd, unprofessional guy oh, that... I'm unprofessional? On the radio. Well, That's if I'm unprofessional, how did I become the number one broadcaster in Southern yeah, California? How did, I, how did I do that? Only stupid Mexican people that have no life. Stupid Mexican people. Well, are, 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 are you listening to? I, what does that make you? No, it just been, yeah, I'm not a Mexican. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, I'm you're just stupid. Like no, actually, I'm not stupid. Well, so. you just said the. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's use geometric logic. Okay. First of all, you said only stupid Mexicans listen to me. That's that's number one. Number two, you said that uh, you're not Mexican. So that means you either are, as you say, these are your words, you're either a stupid Mexican or maybe it's just stupid people listen. Some of them happen to be Mexican and some of them happen to be you. Time to stop being married, Stephen. That's another way you can cut back during the recession. That's true. That's another way to to, uh, to save money there is to, to ditch the wife. That's, uh, yeah, and it's also a good way to lose 180 pounds of ugly fat. <laughs> I could use that, too. From the back of a back lot of a movie studio in Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. <laughs> you know. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues. 
you really care about a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are uh, together again on this uh, Wide Open Telephones Friday here on the Tom Like Your Show. Anything goes, anything at all. We can talk about anything that's on your mind. It can be anything we discussed on the air this week. Anything you think we should have gotten into, you can call up here, yell, scream, Jump up and down. It's all fair game, long as you're absolutely fascinating. If you're not, we kick your ass the hell off the telephone. It's that simple. All you have to do is call this handy-dandy telephone number. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's Justin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. You know the rule. Nothing takes the air out of the tires. Get a new hour started. Then you go to the phone. The person is probably listening to the radio. They don't know they're on the air. Don't even realize they're embarrassing themselves right now. Justin is thinking about what he's going to say when he gets on. Doesn't realize he's already on. Oh, yeah. It's time to match the stars. Mm -hmm. Justin, it's been a little slice of heaven. Thank you so much. There we go. Brought the show to a screeching halt there. Bernie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Uh, hold on. I'm busy right now. Talk to you later. Hello? Yes. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm okay. Hey, I have a question for you. I want to know well, what's up with the newspaper, man. You sure got them, man. I hope they, you know, they sure learn a lesson, man. Eh? Because as far, as far as I know, I know they mess with your show, something like that. But, you know, I want to know... See if you can get a little more into the Well, there was an ad in the newspaper recently that uh, took shots at radio, somehow uh, implying that uh, we didn't have the same advertising reach that they do. And the fact is that newspapers have declining audiences. And while we just ascended to the number one position, uh, the newspapers here in Southern California are losing readers, losing them. And most of them are getting older and older and older. So um, I was kind of amazed. I I thought of the newspaper as being, you know, because my dad worked for a newspaper, and I thought of the newspaper as being, you know, kind of old school. I, I kind of subscribed to it because my dad worked for a paper for 43 years. Mostly I've read all the news on the Internet already or heard it somewhere else, but I just continued getting it. And when I saw this ad in the paper, I said, why am I giving them my money? Why am I supporting them? Yeah, that's pretty good, you know. I, I don't even read the damn paper anymore. I don't read it either. You know what I use a newspaper for? What? To clean my windshield. There we go. <laughs> but you know where I, you know where I get it from now? No. I from the free newsstands. You know the, the auto sales and all that. Oh, I there you go. Newspaper. Yeah, I hope you know that you shouldn't mess with nobody like that. You know, how can it take shots, sh- 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 Tom? Well, you know, if the newspaper really wants to call us out like that, I'll show you how much reach radio has. Watch how many of our listeners cancel their newspaper. And who's the number one show? Oh, well, we we are clearly the number one show in the afternoon. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, you sure deserve it, Tom. You got a great mark out there. I'm going to show yeah. I'm going to show the newspapers how much reach we have because when they see how many of our listeners cancel their newspapers, they're going to see how much reach we got. Yeah. They they're going to learn their lesson, that's for sure. They're going to learn the hard way. Back and apologize to you. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here waiting for an apology, but uh, no, we're, we're going to show the newspaper how much reach we do have. 
And maybe they should put an ad in your show just in case, you know, they want to get those customers back. <laughs> yeah, well, don't don't hold your breath for that. <laughs> All right, Tom, I just wanted to know that, Hank. Can you take me out, Kobe style? I certainly can, Bernie. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Jake on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Father. How you doing? I'm okay, son. Uh, long time, first time. Uh, I've been noticing lately you've been giving out your international number quite a bit. And uh, during the beginning of your thing, you talk about this is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. Uh, I was wondering if you're ever going to talk change that to this is where the world gets together to listen to the issues really care. Well, I, I'm not going to be presumptuous. Uh, you know, we're still uh, getting a foothold in the rest of the world. We do get calls from other countries, uh, uh -huh. but in my view, not enough to call us a worldwide program yet. So uh, rather than trying to claim the world, and I can certainly, in a burst of hyperbole, uh, say, yeah, we're the world's hottest talk show or something. Uh, we will take the calls, and we will enjoy all the input from people from other countries. And as it increases, at some point, we'll reevaluate. Well, I appreciate it. You're doing the Lord's work. And, uh, you know, hopefully everyone worldwide will start listening to you and uh, get these bitches to shape up and uh, get all these guys, you know, to start dumping these bitches. And, you know. Many of these know. other countries that are listening, they don't have bitches like we do. <laughs> well, they don't have the same problems we have. A lot of them in other countries are learning about the bitch uh, problem uh, by listening to our show here. Well, keep spreading the word, Tom. Can you take me out old school? I certainly can. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Fabian on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Father. Hello, son. How you doing today? I'm doing great. Excellent. Hey, Father, I got to bring in a good analogy about television networks, especially ABC. ABC is like a marriage. There's benefit for the kids. There's benefit for the women, but there's no benefit for the men. That's all. exactly right. No benefit to tuning in. Indeed. Father, another thing. Uh, I gotta give you an update on the phone, on the, on the uh, phone number rule. I, I switch it to 310. And it's working wonders. I love that. Very nice. This is the first report from the field on that one. Yep. As a matter of fact, I have a 310 phone. The, gir the girls are coming. <laughs> I course, love it. And of course, all the li all all the all the words that you preach, I practice. Well, we can't and, say that word, but uh, you were. I'm, I'm proud of you for being called that because that's what I am. And I told you know, and, and you know what's fun, and you know what's funny, they since they told me jerk and a hole, I told them, hey, I'm proud of it, and and they and and they were telling me, and the, those two females were telling me, oh, you should be ashamed. I was like, why well, should be ashamed of myself? Right. It's it's a joy being an a-hole. That's right. And pretty soon you're probably boating one of those chicks. <laughs> uh, both of them will have a boyfriend, so I don't hit that. That, that doesn't mean that. anything, believe me. Oh, okay. They will make a note. Then I then I take your word for it. All right, Fabian. All right, take me out old, old school. Old, old school. Here you go. <laughs> I'll date a woman for about like two months before she starts going, oh, well, you know, either we you know, become exclusive or else. And it's like, oh, well, good knowing you. Bye. Simple. They cry, they moan, they, you know, whatever, but it doesn't, it doesn't faze me. I just okay, it works, you know what I mean? I do. I'm a Tom Likas listener to the fullest. Tom Likas Show. It's not like a show. And if it causes an erection lasting more than four hours, please see your doctor. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Anything goes here. Anything at all. It's me, a microphone, and a big goddamn blowtorch. That's what it is. This is Don. 
On the Tom Liga Show. Hi, Don. I'm calling because I am one of the people that works at the major L.A. newspaper, and I am scared to death about you talking down about it because I'm just one of the peons that works there. And and I know that the end is near, but I don't need you and your minions to make it come any quicker. Well, uh, your paper uh, went out and said that radio doesn't have the reach that newspapers do, uh, and so I, 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 that, but, but I'm determined to I'm like determined me. to prove how much reach we have. I know, but the peons like me had nothing to do with that. And we're all, our jobs are at jeopardy as it is, and that's a lot of people that are going to go out of work quick enough as it well, is. Well, then they you should, st- maybe you ought to tell the people there at the paper to stop running ads like that. Well, I really don't have that high a reach, because like I said, I'm just one of the low life. Maybe you there. ought to tell your boss to tell your boss to tell your boss. Because <laughs> cause I'll tell you what, you want to run it, you want to take shots at radio? No, I don't. No, no, but then if they if they want to take that. shots at radio, that's perfectly fine with me. I'm gonna I am gonna show personally how much reach we have. I know, and that's what scares the hell out of me. So I listen to you every day. So I, I can I can I quote you? you? L.A. Times employee calls in and says we have more reach than the L.A. Times. Can I quote you on that? Well, yeah, <laughs> I'll use my fake last name. Yeah, I understand. It's bad enough as it is without. Having it come to a, it's already coming to a screeching halt. That's what it's doing. Oh well, we're just going to accelerate it because we've got we've got reach the newspaper could only dream of. I mean, as it is, look what's happened to the classified section in the newspaper. Oh, I know. I, it's I'm microscopic. An, I'm a artist, and I've got a lot of time on my hands these days. Oh yes, and how much of news in the paper now is from two and three and four days ago, and how much of it is coming from wire services instead of actual physical reporters covering stories? Yes, but it's still the cheapest way to get. The news, you don't have to pay internet $49 a month. It's only $1.50 on Sunday. Who, want, who wants to know the losers who can't afford the internet? Yeah, the, You know who those people are? They're the same people who are getting their coupons so they can get their digital boxes so they can continue watching TV in 2009. You ever see those commercials on TV? I do, but I just those don't are the ones to come to a screeching halt faster than it already is. Those, those are the people who are at the public library so they can read books because they can't afford to, like, buy a book. Well, I know, but... I could use all the help I can get keeping my job, and I don't. Well, <laughs> well, you 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 can blame uh, the folks uh, up top there, uh, because uh, you know I thought we had a nice, cozy little coexistence: the newspapers, the radio, the TV, what have you. But they decided to take shots at us, and I'm like, okay, let's see who has more reach. Oh, that scares me to death. <laughs> we'll find out who has more reach. Uh, okay, I'll be I'll be standing in the employment line. And I'll be actually I'll apply at your show. Don't worry, but there'll be plenty of room for uh, all the unemployed newspaper people after they uh, lose their jobs. Come on over to radio. All right. Well, I mean, I'll we, be, I, I, send I, you my resume. Way, next break. Listen to the quality of the advertisers we have here. I mean, oh. it, it sure beats the. Uh, uh, what is even? Who's advertising the paper anymore? My God. We have about three auto dealers left. Three left. Comes <laughs> from about seventy. That's bad. It's terrible. Yeah, it's 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 going to be the end of an era. But it I is going to. Well, you know, my dad worked for the New York Post for forty three years. I'm well aware that yeah. it's the end of an era, and it's coming soon. I know. And the newspaper is this quaint little relic that arrives at people's front doors. Many people don't even remember why they're still paying for it. Well, I know, but. Until I can figure out what I'm supposed to do after I get unemployed. Well, when I, re- when I received my paper and opened it up and saw that ad recently, I'm like, why am I paying these people? Well, see, I didn't even know about it until I heard it on your show. Did you go and look it up and see the ad? No, because I just got mad. Uh, some of my coworkers actually did, though, and they were disgusted by it as well. Yeah. I mean, uh, we were perfectly happy to coexist with the newspaper, but if they want to take shots at me they're, and me and my business, uh, they're barking up the wrong tree because they're going to force me to show just how much reach the Tom Likas show has. All right, Tom. Well, I better update my resume sooner than I thought. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the newspapers in L.A. want to say that uh, – that, uh, 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 newspapers have more reach than radio. Sure, they do it. Nursing homes, uh, assisted living facilities, absolutely. Among people who can't afford a television, <laughs> yeah, they got big reach. Jesus Christ. 
I want to say hi to all the people who are still working in the newspaper business. And uh, keep in mind that uh, after the next wave of cutbacks, uh, we will welcome you all with open arms. Of course, you'll have to take a pay cut because there will be a surplus of people available to do the jobs we do over here. But uh, we will welcome you with open arms. After uh, Sam Zell and your buddy Randy Michaels come in there and start cutting, uh, we'll be more than happy to take you in. one 800 800 tob That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here. Look at these calls. For a medium with no reach, we got a lot of goddamn calls here. Crystal on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Excuse me? Never Hello? mind. Yes. Hi. Hi. Is this Tom? It is. Yeah, I just need some advice from you, Tom. All right. Okay, um, I'm in an abusive relationship. Well, he's in prison right now, but he's getting out next month. And, you know, all this happened in front of my children. But, you know, the, the judge... But I love him! Excuse me? But you love him! No, you know what? After nine years, I realized I don't because of all this. It, it took nine it like... years to figure out you don't love him. Well, yes, I'm stupid. That's why I called you to tell you. Like, all right, you're you, stupid. You I'll buy that. All right, you're stupid. And? <laughs> yes, because I already know you're going to tell me that. Anyways, um, I'm just wondering, like, what do you think? Do you think I should let these kids continue seeing their father? Because my oldest, which is seven, which actually witnessed a beating, and it, was, it happened in front of him, um, is acting just like his father right now. Well, that's what happens. And just remember who chose his father. Right, I know. So you, do you think it's a good idea to let the children see their father? Well, I think you have to do what the law uh, uh, requires. And I, frankly, uh, because I don't have children, I don't know what the law requires. Is he in prison because of violent acts against you or the kids? just against me, but the kids were there, so... Uh-huh. And you're still married to him. Isn't that amazing? Well, I got my paperwork. I got. I just need to wait for him to get released to sign these papers. I have, He can't be close to me. He, uh, there's a three-year restraining order on him. But he beat me up where I was... But why do you have to wait for him to sign anything? Uh, isn't a summary judgment if uh, he doesn't show up in court? Uh, that's it. You're done. Even... Uh, isn't it, doesn't it take a half do you, a year Do you have that? an attorney... Excuse me? No, I don't. Well, you really should have an attorney look at those papers. Even though I don't have no property with this guy or anything? You should, because you want to make sure you are divorced and you've got child custody to worry about. Right, right. I mean, you know, you're, you're talking about a violent individual who's been in prison. You want to take chances drawing up these papers yourself without an attorney looking at them? Right. Not a good idea. Now, yeah, he now is cut violent. Back. He's a gang member. I mean, he's just right. he is. Well, you're gonna very... you're gonna have to cut back on the nail polish or something, and you're gonna have to hire an attorney. You got to do it. Got to do it. You've got to at least have an attorney read the paperwork and correct any mistakes or make sure that everything's in there. Right. Right. Okay. Do not file divorce papers without an attorney. And on top of that, you need to find out if you can get the divorce done now and not have to wait for him. Oh, really? Okay. I had no idea I can do that before he got released. That's because you don't have an attorney. Right, right. No, I do need to get an attorney then, right? Because I was just going to do this all by myself. No, no, darling. I got the paperwork printed out the computer. You can do it yourself with LegalZoom.com or whatever, and then, but then you got to show it to an attorney and have the attorney make corrections or see if there's any omissions and make sure that your custody is taken care of. Yeah, because he is. I was told he can just take my kids and disappear. Well, then what are you doing doing the paperwork yourself? Yeah, well, I guess he has, you know, he has me traumatized. Like, I'm scared to get anybody involved. It's just, you, I don't know, I'm, I'm just lost right now. You need to talk to an attorney. Monday. I, Monday, yeah. Yes, I do. You... Do you have any recommendations? No, I don't. Your... I don't make recommendations. And by the way, my attorneys are probably a lot more expensive than what you can afford. <laughs> sure, I can. How does seven hundred and fifty dollars an hour sound? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I probably make that every week. No, no, I'm not going to recommend it any more than I'd recommend an accountant. Because okay. for you, I'd probably recommend H and R Block. 
But, okay. for, but, but that wouldn't be my accountant, not because they're not good. They are good, uh, but because my tax return is the size of a small town phone book. Um, you see? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, the way you find do you have an attorney for any other purpose? Have you had a car accident? or? No, any, no, no, I you've don't. You've never used an attorney? Nope, the what? public defender. <laughs> oh, boy. So you've been arrested, too. Very nice. No, I haven't been arrested. It was for um, driving on a suspended license without my, you know, knowledge, I guess. I didn't have no idea. Dear, what, what, what's wrong with you? Committing... Oh, there you go. You're picking on me already. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm picking. You. you have to take responsibility for this stuff. You've got children. Yes, I know. And you had children with an abusive man. Get your act together. I know, I do. That's why I called you to hear it from you. Maybe, you know. I know a lot of women don't like you, but you know what? For some reason, I like you, and I wanted to call you and hear it from you. Well, because you know I don't hate you. You know I want you to do the right thing. I know. But you got to do the right thing for your kids. You've screwed up your own life, but what about your kids? You had kids with a violent guy. Why'd you do that? You were stupid. Yes. Yes. You need to stop compounding these problems. Right. No, I mean I know this time it's for sure. He's done. I'm done with that guy. He's he's just not a not the right person. Yeah, but then you go ahead and drop your own divorce papers? Are you kidding? <laughs> How cheap can you be? <laughs> yes, I know. I will talk to a lawyer on Monday. You're right. You get a lawyer. Does your does your mom or somebody in your family have an attorney? Have they ever used oh, an yeah. attorney? Yeah, yeah, they do. Actually. Well, then talk to, when you get off the phone with me. Call your mother, and ask her the name of the attorney she uses for whatever she uses attorneys for. Then you call that person if they're not a divorce attorney, and you say, "I my mom recommended me to you, and I need a divorce attorney. Can you recommend me to someone?" Right, right. That's how it's done. Thank you so much. All right, Crystal. Thank you so much, Tom. All right. You call me. Let me know how you're making out. All right? Thank you for not being so hard on me. <laughs> oh, I can be a lot harder on you, dear. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. So you don't believe that marriage could be happy? You don't believe that it could bring people happiness? I think there's people who uh, jump from an airplane and uh, they're happy, at least till they hit the ground. <laughs> Feels like you're flying. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show. It's 1 800 5800 Tom. Was that Michelle Tafoya? She's chunking up. 1 800 5800 Tom. That's our telephone number from Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Let's go to your telephone calls as we continue. Let's say hello here to Ashley on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, what's up, Tom? What's going on? Not much. How you doing, man? Just as good as I was five seconds ago. <laughs> I'm just calling, basically, because I've been in a relationship for, like, seven years because I don't believe in marriage. I believe that you can have a great relationship with someone for the rest of your life for however long and never have to get, never have to sign government papers. Um saying that I'm married to, to a man that I like or love. You know what I mean? So I've been in a relationship for seven years. And, um, I mean, I'm, I just don't understand. He does. I let him do whatever. I never – he doesn't have, like, any gnarly – I don't give him any rules and stupid crap like that. The day breaks down like that. You could possibly give someone – a. Then I go to work all day long. Then I come home, tell him to come over. We don't live together because I don't believe in that either. I tell him to come over. I'll cook him whatever he wants. Uh, mahi, mahi, whatever. Whatever he wants. Burgers. Mahi, mahi, wow. Burgers, uh, lobster. I, I boil. We have crab nights, and I pay for it, all of it. Really? 
Every once in a while, he'll chip in. I don't, the the I last don't time a girl had crab night, it wasn't quite the same thing. <laughs> I'm a southern girl. I'm from the south, and I moved out to California basically right. for him. And because uh, we uh, we met down south, and I moved out here for him, and we've been together for for quite a minute, and he. Uh, I don't know. Just I, I basically I need your advice on this. Well, what is the question here? What's he, the question? He just told me uh, about a month and a half ago. I just don't want any more. This feels too much like marriage. And basically, my friends, you know, are are basically telling me that next thing that you're gonna want in this relationship is marriage. And I'm not down. I'm not down with that. And I'm basically he's terrified. I guess I don't freaking know. I'm not a guy. I don't know what's going on. If if the routine of like. Every other day, doing this, like, kind of the same thing every day is getting to him, and he's getting scared. He was just like, I don't want any more. And he's like, I'm, I don't want any other female. I just don't, I don't, he, he could get. What he, is it he doesn't want? He, I guess he just says he doesn't want the relationship because he feels like it's pushing him, like, I, that I'm going to want to get married to him. And I'm telling him that I don't want to get married. And he says, well, all this, I think friends just have a huge impact on guys are like gnarly. Well, it might be more than that. It might be that he's uh, it, it, he feels obligated to be around. Yeah, that is. Uh, you know, uh, he hates it when like he doesn't have to do anything. The only thing I ask him to do is call me and let me know. He has to. He has to have sex with you. He has to show up. Has yeah. to be around. Yeah, he does. He does. He's, and he like, has to be I, around all the time. And now it's become very routine. Yes. Yes, that's true. And probably the sex isn't as good as it was. No, it is. I go to Agent Provocateur and buy new stuff like... No, no, no. Darling, darling, darling. When you go to Agent Provocateur and you go to Trashy Lingerie and you go to the Hustler (laughs) store, Hustler Hollywood, or you go to the Pleasure Chest and you are surrounded by all the other people whose relationships essentially are sputtering to an end and and they are there trying to buy creams and oils and gadgets and and clothing designed to help a limping relationship limp its way to the finish line that that's where you're at <laughs> well i guess he might be getting tired of it cuz i do i'm a pretty sexual person and i do want it every time i see him maybe he's just getting sick of like laying the pipe maybe I, he's I, get, I, maybe he's sick of laying the same pipe every night that's what i'm saying well i don't make him see me every night maybe he needs some new pvc night. in there hey <laughs> maybe but you know i guess i just i I just it was confused because we've been... By the way, so PVC, long. if you think about the initials of PVC, <laughs> those would be the first letters, all of, like, synonyms for, <laughs> you know what I mean. I, I do know what you mean. If I'm the sorry. V was vagina, you can imagine what P and C are. <laughs> but, anyways, I think I'm, like, you know... I was <laughs> he needs some new PVC. <laughs> He'll be laying the pipe. <laughs> I listen to your show every single day when I get out of beauty school at five. Over beauty school? Why am I not surprised? You go. You're going to beautician school. Yes, I am. I'm in a. I'm in a band out here. We we rock and roll. But I also you rock and roll. But in the future, you'll be giving pedicures and uh, wrapping tin foil around women's hair. I know. That's if it doesn't work out, Tom. So. That, which which it generally doesn't, as you know. Yeah, so that's why I'm going. The last time you had your oil change, that was the last band that was destined to make it. Yeah, exactly. It's rough right now in the industry. No, no, it's it's not rough now. It's always been rough. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, oh yeah, back when the Beatles were around, everybody was like, (laughs) it was just you just uh, you you took out a guitar and you had a top ten record. That's all you had to do. (laughs) Exactly. But now it's tough. It's real tough. Like you got, you got iTunes, you got iPods, you got everything. Well, this is not a problem for you. What are you kidding me? That's that's great for you. That, that's yeah. a problem for Nine Inch Nails or Coldplay. It's not a problem for you. You don't have any records that anybody's ever heard of. Yeah, you yeah, got nothing yeah. to steal. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking like you've been in the business forever. It's like, no, come on. No, your best hope is you place your music on uh, like MySpace or Facebook for free, and somebody hears it. That's what I 
just hear. No, that's what I just hear. Like, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I definitely can say I don't know anything about the industry, and it's it's crazy out here. It's a lot different from Alabama. That's what do you mean out know. here? What kind of music industry do they have in Alabama? No, no, it's, no, it's just a lot different. They're the last crazy. musician from Alabama had a banjo on his knee, if I recall correctly. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you know. It's, that's it's the a, entire music industry in Alabama, right? Yeah, uh, pr- well, pretty much. You ain't gonna go nowhere <laughs> and, and down there. You ain't going nowhere, but a but a freaking bar for the rest of your life to play. And I just, you know, I I wanted to try to do something. How many times? Hey, Freebird. <laughs> See that? Freebird. <laughs> so so your choice. Let me understand this because you're 27 and your life is boiled down to playing Freebird. No. Nah. Or giving French manicures. <laughs> <laughs> or turning unibrows into dual brows. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I just, thanks for, you know, I, I just, I get so confused on, like, on why all of a sudden, like, thank you for clearing it up because it's, I knew that you would have, like, the real perspective, the man's perspective. Let me know. tell you something, Ashley. Uh, I love chocolate layer cake. I completely. Uh-huh. You know where they've got great chocolate layer cake, by the way, at the Cantor's Deli. You ever been there? Great chocolate. Oh, they have Cantor's. that old school, like seven layer chocolate layer cake. Oh, it's fantastic. You oh. go in and it's you know it's loaded with eggs and sugar and butter and all the stuff you're not supposed okay. to put in cake. And it's okay. just fantastic. And you know what? There's sometimes when I just get in a jag and I just start saying, you know what? I want that cake again. And I'll go there and get another hunk of it. Yeah. And, and I, I mean, I got to tell you something. In L.A., for my money, nobody has a better chocolate layer cake than Cantor's. It's the absolute best. <laughs> but if I ate it every night for seven yeah. years, yeah, it's the last thing I'd want to see. As good as yeah. it is, yeah. it's the last thing I'd want to see. I see. I, I, I get it. I mean, I understand. And totally. this is what he's telling you. Yeah. And he, he is telling me that, and he's also telling me that, like, he also told me that, like, uh, any further in a relate, he just wants the relationship to always stay just in its convenience. He doesn't want a house to, like, constantly supply, like I was saying, constantly lay pipe for me. He likes it only every Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> he does not Because there's no bad pizza, darling. <laughs> but you have to understand, there comes a time, especially, is he your age or older or what? He's a little older. He's 30. 30. I'd right, say so he was 23 when this started. Do you know how much he's missed out on in that period of time? Yeah, a lot. He hasn't. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he has. Yeah. And and at some point, he's going to, and if he turns 30, that could be the reason. You yeah. start to realize, I was, a, what is he? He's a musician, right? Um. No, actually, he's a, he's a pro athlete. Oh, he's a pro athlete? Yeah. Anybody we yeah. know? No, 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 no. Oh, so we, he's a pro, but nobody we know would pay to see him? Uh, <laughs> anyways, what are you going to say? <laughs> what are you going to say, Tom? You make more at uh, being a beautician than he makes as a pro athlete. Go on, go on. <laughs> go on. So there he is playing beach volleyball, and there you are uh, learning how to frost hair. Okay. And play, playing uh, Leonard Skinner cover uh, versions uh, oh, in your free time. Do. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's not that's and you have that uh, you have that uh, eight hundred and fifty dollar a month apartment in Los Feliz or somewhere. Right? Yeah, like, Silver guys, Lake Echo Peter. Park. <laughs> right. I live in Studio City. Yeah. So Studio City. Yeah. That's where you go when you can't afford Echo Park. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's painful being you, Ashley. I'm just thinking about it now. <laughs> Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Got that? Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.